Hi, I'm Mike Wolf, inventor of the My Pillow, and I. Wait, aren't we supposed to be talking about clouds? Oh yeah. Oh. I guess we should learn about clouds now. Are you sure you want to do this? Clouds are made of tiny droplets of water. They're so light and small that they float on air. You're just going to fall through them. Listen, man, I want to do two things in my life. Sit on a cloud and sit on a cloud. And we're not finishing this video until I do at least one of those things. But, but that's just the same thing twice. You're the same thing twice. Let's rock. Don't say I didn't warn you. hours later. Are you satisfied now? I guess so, but... Wait, what's that? Well, if you smell something, it was probably me. I just had a chalupa. No, it's the clouds! A, 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 B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, Q R S T U V W X Y and Octopus. Oh, sorry, sorry. I mean Z. I think. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I hit my head real hard or what, but am I seeing talking clouds right now? Well, of course we're talking. We're here to teach you about clouds so you don't try to jump out of a plane and sit on one of us again. Man, I gotta say, I've seen clouds shaped like weird stuff. An elephant, a bunny, but I have never seen it. Who did that? Well, it certainly wasn't me. It wasn't me neither. Octopus. Well, anyway, as I was saying... Come on! Oh, I'm sorry, man. Go ahead. Anyway, I was gonna say that I've never seen clouds with faces before, but... On top of that, why do you guys look so different? Well, there are three main types of clouds, and... Hey, you may already even know them. Of course I do. The big cotton candy ones, the stuff inside my pillow, the ones that look like melted marshmallows. What? Well, those things may look like clouds, but they're not one of the three main types. Oh. Well, is this a cloud? Well, that's definitely not a cloud. Well, is this a cloud? That's not one either. It's not? I've been calling it a cloud for like six years. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, mate, but... None of those things are clouds. Hey fellas, scoot it. I'll take it from here. So the first type is called a cumulus cloud. They are low level clouds that look like me. So they're real big and fluffy and with little cotton balls of love? Um, I guess so, sure, yeah. But here, why don't you take a look at some pictures of some cumulus clouds? And those are just a few examples. Now if you see big white cumulus clouds, it usually means there's good weather. But if they're big and gray, you can expect rain. Now I've seen ones that look like you, but are a bit different. What's the deal with that? Well there are different types of cumulus clouds, including altocumulus, stratocumulus, cumulonimbus, and cirrocumulus. Yeah! Interesting, but uh... There's no way I'm gonna remember any of that. Well, listen to this. Hey, Kim, you lost clouds. When you see them, it means good weather. Remember that they are low-level clouds. They look a lot like fluffy white. So what's next? Well, it's my turn. Move it, Puff Daddy. Whoa, what type of cloud are you? Well, I'm the second of the main cloud types. I'm a serious cloud. Uh, I could tell right away you were a serious guy. Your face was all like... 
No, not serious cloud. I said serious cloud. Oh, I can tell you love cereal with a little milk mustache. And who doesn't love cereal? There's just so many kinds, you know? For the last time, you weirdo, I said serious, not cereal. Serious. Oh, he totally loves cereal. I can tell from his little baby milk mustache. <gasps> Come on! I'm sorry, mate. It was the only way to get your attention. Sorry, go ahead. Well, I was going to say that I'm a serious cloud. Cirrus clouds look like thin, wispy streams. Clouds like me are found very high in the air. Well, are there any other types of cereal? I mean, cirrus clouds out there? Well, sure. There's are cirrostratus and cirrocumulus. Yeah! Once again, that is awesome information, but there is no way I'm going to remember any of that. Well, listen to this. The cirrus clouds up in the sky. So who's next? Octopus! Whoa, who are you? Who, me? Oh, I'm just an octopus. What? I mean stratus clouds. Yeah. Clouds like me are very low. We're typically puffy, gray, and cover most of the sky. I am not gonna lie, I am not a big fan of clouds like those. I mean, every time I see them, it starts to... Oh, I'm awfully sorry, man. I meant it with peace and love. You see, stratus clouds usually bring light rain. Well, are there other types of stratus clouds? Yep. First, there's cirrostratus. They're much higher, but look similar to stratus clouds. Then, there's stratocumulus and nimbostratus. Usually when you see a nimbostratus, it means rain or snow. Wow, good to know, but uh, um, I literally forgot everything you just said. Well, maybe I should sing you a song. I mean, I already heard two other songs. What's one more? Go ahead. See clouds like me, cover all you see. The stratus is the baddest of them all. We're pink and gray, and so perfect. Knowing when you see us, there is rain. The straddle kill you, nothing in both stratus too. And when you see that last kind, it may snow on you. Yeah! And those are the three types of clouds Cirrus, Cumulus, Octopus! What? I mean, Stratus. But wait, before I saw a fourth cloud, where did he go? Hi, it's a Nimbus cloud. Hey, Mr. Nimbus 2000, I have a question. Um, You're not one of the three main cloud types, but I've totally seen a cloud like you before, right? Yes, probably. A Nimbus cloud is the type of cloud you would often see when a thunderstorm is about to happen. Nimbus is even the Latin word for rain. We are dark, towering clouds that vary in height. When you see a cloud like me, you should get indoors fast. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, but uh, I just have one more question. Real quick, can we get the other guys back in here? So, what causes a cloud to form? Hey, yeah, look at this. Well, all air contains water, but near the ground it's usually in the form of an invisible gas called water vapor. Now it all starts when the heat from the sun warms the earth. This causes the air close to the ground to rise and the water vapor in that air to cool off. As the water vapor rises and cools, it transforms into liquid water through a process called condensation. This water vapor condenses onto things like dust, pollen, or smoke to form a cloud. Oh, I get it. There's a big factory that poops out clouds when it has too many tacos. Come on, Andy. Gosh, they don't poop them out. They fart them out. Tell them, guys. It's as if they weren't even listening this whole time. So, um, now that I sat through this entire video, is there any chance I can get a ride on one of you clouds? Well, if you can find a way to get up here, you... Cloud, 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 cloud,
Alright, let's get this over with. Mr. DeMayo! Mr. DeMayo! Mr. DeMayo! Oh, what happened? You jumped out of a plane, hit your head, and been laying in dog poop for two hours. I had a horrible dream. I had these talking clouds, and every couple of minutes they kept... Who did that?! Was it me? Must have been a bird or something. Well, thanks for watching. Please consider contributing to Mr. DeMeo's Patreon account. All contributions, big or small, go towards the creation of more videos for kids. Check the end of this video or look at the description box for a link. Also, do you think you know all there is to know about clouds? Take the cloud quiz found on Mr. DeMeo's Teachers Pay Teachers page. Check the description box for a link. Wheat, wheat, wheaties. Was this a cloud? You look delicious.